Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Wednesday, August 11th, 2010. Well, folks, the markets are getting pounded today. In fact, we just came into a major level of support. I just gave the chat room the long signal as of the one 0950 level on the SPY. You can see clearly on the chart in front of you that that level just got pierced beautifully. In fact, the markets went to 109.49. My level of entry was 109.50. So again, long trade here, making money already as the markets are getting a small bounce. Now, that's not to say that the markets are doing well today. The markets are getting pounded. It just so happens that the intraday trading has gone very, very well with key levels working out beautifully. Again, the markets are slaughtered, down 227 points on the Dow or 2.15%. NASDAQ down 66 or 2.9%. And the S&P 500 down 28 or 2.5%. So really about 2.5% losses across the board. Technology percentage-wise is getting hammered even more, while the Dow is probably the least amount hurt on some strong earnings from a couple different players out there and some strong uh, showings today on a very, very weak day in the markets. Now, what's the cause? What's the culprit? And again, folks, I have to monitor my trade here. Uh, 109.60 right here. I'm going to put a break-even stop in at one. 109.60, and remember, this is a scalp trade, so right there, even number, uh, play mid-even number, 109.50 entry, and we're at 109.61, and again, we'll continue to monitor this over the next couple minutes. Now, again, what's the cul culprit of this sell-off? We first of all saw a massive rally yesterday, and remember, I talked about this for those of you that are Research Center members in the nightly video. Uh, I talked about this yesterday, how the Federal Reserve and the Plunge Protection Team has used multiple signals or multiple cards, multiple arrows out of their quiver to keep the market propped up. We saw it yesterday, the Fed coming out yesterday and saying, oh, we're going to start buying uh, U.S. debt government debt. Well, what happens, the dollar crashes back down after being up on the day. The markets rally because the markets move inverse to the dollar. Well, today, as it was all just thrown out the window, the dollar is screaming, and I mean screaming today. This is a huge move on the dollar. Look at this move today, up 43 cents. Now, again, in nightly videos, I gave all my members the bias of being positive on the dollar with a bullish bias on the dollar. Again, after today's huge move, I'll probably go into a neutral stance. We're almost back to uh, $24, and I want to show you this can here, folks. Take a look at this. This is where we closed yesterday on the dollar, right down here. Look at the size of that move. I mean, you're talking about a one-day move, and there we are at the highs of the day on the dollar right here. This is the daily chart. Look at the size of that move. And this is one day, folks, from yesterday's close right here to the move up today. And look at how many days in between. I mean, basically, these were big moves on the dollar, but you have a, basically a week or two of moves inside of the one-day move today. That is killing the markets. I mean, absolutely destroying the markets. A stronger dollar, what does that mean? It means weak commodity prices. Take a look at the USO today. Down 90 cents on the day. Here's your intraday USO. You can see that the oil is getting crushed. You can see other commodities uh, also getting crushed out there without a doubt. And all these commodities dropping causes pressure on the markets. How does it cause pressure on the markets? Because basically, the oil trade, for instance, if you see oil dropping, what do you think Chevron and Exxon are going to do, which are both key components to the Dow and the S&P? If the oil is getting hammered, ExxonMobil is probably down. Sure enough, it is down. Chevron. How about Chevron? Chevron's getting hammered down $1.50 today. So again, those stocks dropping cause the markets to drop. Anything in the S&P 500 that's under pressure, anything commodity related because of the strength in the dollar is causing that to fall as well. In addition, the Federal Reserve yesterday, in their comments, yes, they said they're going to buy U.S. debt, but bottom line is, they were really saying, we're very scared about this market. We're very, very scared about this economy. That's why we have to put more liquidity into the market, because of deflation fears, because the market is sputtering now that all the government stimulus is drying up. So again, the bottom line, if you read between the lines, the Federal Reserve is not too happy, not too thrilled, not too pleased with how the recovery is going. In fact, it's leading us to believe that, again, we were correct, and again, these calls are generally made with pure and simple technicals out there. We're making the calls on the markets, being correct, correct on the calls on the markets. We've been saying we're going to have that double dip pullback here, and sure enough, that is coming to fruition. Now, not a, you thought that was spectacular. And again, Research Center members, chat room members that are watching these free videos know as well, but we made our call a few days ago that August 10th would be a pivot day. That was the pivot day. And again, we calculate these on proprietary levels. And again, we talk to some some hedge funds about these. We give it out to our members. But other than that, the market does not know. And that's key because remember, when everyone knows, it doesn't work. But bottom line is we gave our turn date literally days and days ago when we've been warning about it for probably about two weeks that it was approaching that you would have a major turn to the downside on August 10th. Well, what was August 10th? That was yesterday. 
Sure enough, and we gave this before, so going into the days before, before from last Friday and last Monday and so forth, saying that this was your turn date, sure enough, the gap down, they tried to save it, couldn't do it, the turn date came, and look at the markets. So another huge call, and I have to give all the credit in the world to my chief market strategist partner, Nick Santiago. He does these turn dates, and he calculates them out using proprietary methods and stuff that, again, is so complex, but it works. Over and over again, we nailed the upswing in July, calling it to the day. Nailed the downswing here, calling it to the day. All available in the Research Center. You want to be on the cutting edge of the markets, and guess which direction the pro trader watch list was facing, to the, to the bearish side. Guess which direction my large cap short was. Short to the downside on a key play out there making money today. So it's all in the charts, folks. Market is breaking down here a little bit more after a little bit of a scalp off of the 109.50 uh, level. And again, we're piercing that level again. Beautiful little scalp there available at the 109.60 level for about a dime to 15 cents out of that. And again, market coming back in. We'll see again where that goes. Let's take a look at Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is getting hammered. Look at the drop on Goldman today. Off a cliff. Cliff dive here. Now let's take a look at JP Morgan. All right, JP Morgan, nice little drop there as well. A little bit of a fall and then down a dollar fifty. Now, one thing about JP Morgan that's fascinating, take a look at this fall. Off the 200 moving average, as soon as this thing hit the 200 on the daily, it just collapsed. All right, so big, big drop there. Let's take a look at a couple other plays. How about some of the metal stocks? Metal stocks should be under pressure, right? Because commodities are getting hit today on the stronger dollar. Sure enough, U.S. Steel, take a look at U.S. Steel down two and a quarter at the lows of the day. AK Steel. Look at that. Southern Copper, SCCO is another play. That's also getting hammered to the downside. So you are seeing some major drops here in all commodity-related things. Also, technology is taking a brunt. Why would technology be taking a hit today? Well, namely because demand. Remember, demand is key for technology. And if the Federal Reserve is saying that things are not good out there, that means decreased demand for technology products, possibly, and technology is taking the brunt. What's probably taking the weakest hit today? What's taking the least hit? Probably stuff like a few of the lower-scale retailers like Walmart. Walmart should be doing a little bit better. It's still down on the day, but it's not down nearly as much. Down 82 cents, which is a decent move down, don't get me wrong, but it's not as down as much as the overall market today. Uh, take a look at the RTH. RTH is down buck seventy-one at the lows of the day. But again, that includes a lot of other retailers out there. All right, what else? Let's go back to the SPY, folks. SPY, again, taking out that level after a quick little scalp play at the 109.50 level. What is your next level on an intraday? Let's cover that. Your next big level, and you're still, in my opinion, you haven't confirmed the break of the 109.50, so that's still in play, actually. But if you continue down, you can clearly see this is your next level to scalp off of on an intraday basis. That's at 108.95. Appears to the even number would make sense. By the way, see this yellow line slanted up? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, folks? This was the level we gave out day after day and said, listen, you break this level, the markets are going down. And again, it coincided with our pivot. Just as the as the pivot came, this level broke to the downside. So in any case, join the Research Center. $49.99 includes everything under that Research Center. Join. We'll see you again soon. Folks, I'll be uh, back in the chat room later today or tomorrow. My chief market strategist partner will be taking that chat room as well. And we'll continue to be making money and profiting in this market along with our subscribers. Take care, folks.